Welcome to the show that will keep you from falling behind during the week. The Friday Catch-Up with the hostess with no ghost is Belinda. The Friday Catch-Up is brought to you by the ParaQuest Radio Network. Hi, everybody. Welcome to week 28. Woohoo! And I'd like to say a big happy welcome to my co-host with the mostest, Jackie. Woohoo! Hi! Hi. <laughs> just a bit of a dead air there. You know, just yes, a little. Well, I was waiting for you to say my name because usually you go, the hostess with the mostest, Jackie. And then I jump in and go, hi. But that didn't happen. Yeah. You know, too many Snickers bars. I sat on one, so it's all like squishy and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't funny. That well, that wasn't funny. Well, I figure you know, there's no way I'm going to get it back into shape, so I might as well just open it later and lick the stuff off the packet. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> butt snickers. <laughs> you could call a dog that. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, butt snickers. Yeah. Hey, I know I didn't add this when the Audacity screwed up on us before, but they're actually doing a poll. Now, our Prime Minister, um, I think her name's Julia Gillard, there we go, um, she's turning 50 in the near future, and her boyfriend, which is a terrible name because he's like over 30, um, her man friend is getting her a dog so the call went out. What is Julie Gillard supposed to call her dog? And quite a lot of people are telling her that she needs to call it by the name of the guy who she actually unseated, Kevin Rudd. <laughs> so, yeah. So hopefully that Kevin Rudd will then turn around and bite her in the butt. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Your turn. That's lovely. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess we will start with um, the interesting experience that happened last weekend, and then we'll move on into our normal spiel. How about that? Sounds good. Okay, so last week, um, you know, I was kind of down and all this over, because last week's show was absolutely amazing and um, perfect on every way. Yes. Um, so obviously we need trouble this week <laughs> to yeah. make up for that. Uh-huh. Grr. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, for those of you that don't know, this is the second time we've done this, so excuse us if we're not quite so you know, spontaneous. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> snide over. Um, so, um, you know, my friend Robin, who was late last week and hopefully will be here this time, on time, without mm-hmm. me having to call and say, get in here. Oh, I forgot again. Yeah. <laughs> um, she uh, called me up either Saturday or Sunday, one of those days that ends with Y. And um, she told me that one of her brother's friends, his name is Kyle, um, listened to, like, one part of the show, one little ten-minute part, and loved it so much that he called everyone in his phone book, posted it wherever he could, which is weird because he's 18 years old and doesn't have a Facebook. Uh, Well, that's all right. I was uh, 28 and I didn't have a Facebook. Yeah, you didn't get a Facebook for like forever, so. Yeah. So that's all right. Yes. <laughs> Only because Belinda did it. But anyway. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, so this guy um, then tells me that he's going, to, and he's talking to me through MSN, and he tells me that he's going to print out a bunch of flyers and hand out, and he's actually going into school to be a graphics designer, so he loves doing this kind of thing. And so I was like, oh, that is so cool, you know? Well, I was, I was sitting there thinking, why is he doing this? Well, then Robin tells me that while he's talking to me on MSN, I sa- or he is like giggly and blushing and really, really nervous. And I was like, oh my God, he thinks we're celebrities. Yeah, I only so get out I, my books. <laughs> yeah, so I proceed to call everyone and tell them, yeah, I'm a celebrity now, apparently. And they're like, no, you're not. Shut up. <laughs> First, my bubble. Just a little bit. Oh, but yes, we're very grateful, Kyle. Thank you. Yes, thank you very, very much, Kyle. I told you I'd give you a special shout out on the show. So here you go, the voices of Friday Catch Up. Yay! Yay for Kyle. 
Pups Yay, for Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> So for the rest of you out there that, you know, just so happened to see me posting on Facebook and all this, why don't you just you know, spread the word around? We would love to have you come and join us in our weird antics on the assumption that um, Audacity will save our stuff. Yes. And, dude, my mom was in there last week. You guys have got no freaking excuse now. My mother was in there. So big shout out. Hi, mom. I think the only person that has an excuse is Janie because, well, she had to go to work and she sent her love and she would love to come and, you know, watch us. For those of you that don't know, Janie is actually our honorary, um, I almost said pit crew member. God, I've been erasing too long. Anyway, um, honorary Friday catch-up crew. Whenever I um, upload the YouTube video, she is the first one to see them because I, um, I send her the link as they come up to make sure that they all work, um, just so it's not off of the Friday Catch-Up account. There's someone else out there that can listen to it. So she's become our little honorary member, and I'd like to get her on the show one day, but she's shy. Uh, well, so were you to begin with. Oh, my God, wasn't I, though? I was scared to death to be on the show. Well, you know, now Kyle's into the mix. You know, that could happen again. We don't know. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of music and then we're going to continue. You ready? Yes. Yes. Do, 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 hmm. do, do, do. That sound must mean that it's Doctor Who weekend again. Yay! Woohoo! The part of our show where we go backwards and forwards in time. So, Belinda, I know you already talked about this once, but guess what? You're going to have to do it again. Woohoo! Tell me about the creepiness. It was scary. Don't like scary. Obviously, and anyone who just so happens to <coughs> know you will know that. <laughs> Yes, I'm a big chicken, fuck, fuck, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tar and feather me. I didn't even make it to, like, the end of the show. I got to the, like, the bit with the dolls that are, like, doing their doll thing, and it's like, mm -mm, I've had enough. I'm going to go hide in the room. <laughs> I'm done with this. You can play. No, um, I watched it. I didn't really like it. Uh, this week's episode, the week that's coming up for you, um, which is why we're time traveling. <laughs> is um, it, all of this is very wibbly wobbly timey wimey. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> kudos for the Doctor Who reference. Oh yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, the episode that just came up, um, it was a lot better than I expected it to be. It really was. Um, I thought it was going to be all about Amy's past and you know do a flashback to all of that. It's like ah. Oh. So I actually wasn't going to watch it, but then it started to come on. I was like, all right, fine, I'll watch it. And it was a lot better than I expected to be. It didn't have anything to do with um, Amy's past. And it wasn't it wasn't all about Amy, per se. There was a lot of Rory in it as well. Oh, cool. So yes. you mean I can still actually watch it with you telling me all this and I'll actually be surprised? Yes. Oh, good. Because I don't yes. like spoilers. Spoilers are evil. Yes, none of that was a spoiler. Um, you can actually pick that up from reading any Doctor Who website or anything. Um, yes, rest assured, um, and we apologize for last week's episode, because apparently last week we gave away a few spoilers. Sorry. Get up with the times and watch the episodes on time, damn it. I'm a week behind. you got no excuse. Well, unless you live in New Zealand, in which case, ha-ha. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful for those butt sniffers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they live in New Zealand, but, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> but, um, anyway. <laughs> don't um, ever go to the libraries in New Zealand. No. For those of you that don't know what we're talking about, too bad, go listen to the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what she should have done. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, so, yes, um, a couple of shows back, speaking of more Doctor Who related news, um, a couple of shows back, we um, discussed a fundraiser where um, a guy, Edward Russell, walked from Cardiff 
Wales to London, England, which is 160 miles, broken down to about a marathon a day. Mm-hmm. Well, he has finished that marathon. So would you like to know what the finished total was? Yes, I would. Okay, the final total was, in pounds, 18,248. Cool. Or 18,000 pounds, 248, yeah. 